Yes. <laughs> loading loading guys oh yes welcome to the stream can you guys hear me loud and clear because it is about to go down wow i heard my own laptop right there this is not what we want to have so um yes we're going live right now and um oh boy yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> I just had to fix the sound in the background. It sounded horribly, probably, but uh, really, guys, there is such a crazy bug going on right now, which pretty much breaks the game. By the way, a big thanks to Lord Force for finding this bug, because he is the first person that actually came up with it. So if you just want to spend one second to check out the description, Go to his channel and subscribe and also hit the like button on his last upload because this is where he shared the bug. He also messaged it to me on Discord, but seriously, he is the person that found out about this bug. He definitely deserves some credit. So Lord Force, if you're watching the stream right now, it is very awesome that you actually came up with this one. Let me also just get rid of one overlay right here. All right, so... Esteban Corzo Ruiz, do you remember me? What do you mean, do you remember me? Uh, I guess from the last stream. How are you doing today? It's my first time watching your stream. Oh, that is really cool, dude. Welcome to the stream. This is my third stream in my entire life on this channel, really. Well, I actually did some streaming in the past years, like at least four or five years ago. Did some streaming for other games, but uh, that is a long, long time ago, guys. 
Um, so let's get right to it. I mean, this is such a crazy bug. You guys have to know it as well, because the more people know it, the faster, hopefully it will get fixed because this is so, so broken, guys. So let's get to the Howling Peaks. I mean, that is where we want to go to, right? So we can go for either the Colossal Ramparts, the Windswept Peaks or the Gale Sanctum. What do you guys want me to play today? Just leave it in the comments down below. And during that time, I will just read the stream chat for a second. Tommy, have you ever played Destiny 2? Your voice sounds so familiar. Hmm, I haven't really. I will actually have, but I haven't streamed it. I haven't made any content for it. The one with a boss in it. We're actually two levels with a boss in it, so... Hmm, is there an obsidian chest in Colossal Rampart? I haven't found that one yet. Parody is cool, so um, I think not. Most people are still searching for it, but it's probably not there. Hello, what? <laughs> Epic comments, guys, really. Gil Sanctum. All right, let's go for the Gil Sanctum. So um, you guys probably want me to destroy the final boss, right? Without a problem. Easy mode, okay? So uh, let's go for Apocalypse level 7 plus 20. You guys right now think like, hmm, for am really? Is it really gonna happen that way? And yes, it is. So what we're gonna do? Don't get scared right here. We're gonna we're gonna get killed a couple times. We're gonna kill ourselves a couple times. So we're just gonna stand in the flames. It's fine. It's fine. Just gonna die. And poor goat. Oh, he's getting <laughs> baked right there in the fire. So we have everything ready for the build. Just gonna have to get ourselves killed. And Red Rum is godlike. Oh, that's a very nice username, by the way. I think the Fighter's Bindings are really cool, but in my opinion, the Tempest Resolute Knife is way cooler right now. So we just equipped our armor. And oh, look at that. We have 9 million HP right now. So let's get back to the skeletons. Let's stand back in the flames right here, guys. Look at my HP. Spying Pro. Oh, yeah, baby. This is super broken. So, <laughs> I know, right? This is this is insane. We've got 9 million HP. If I drink my health potion right now, we have 13 million. Really? 13 million HP. So, uh, what we can do right now is pretty much just stand right here. We can take some damage. Uh, we can take some damage. That is more than I ever get with my hacked 1 billion power level armor. What? Yes, exactly. So these guys are trying to destroy me. They're trying to behead me right now, but no problem, really. So we can just fight back a little bit. And yes, we will heal ourselves. But at the same time, it will go super slow because, of course, how can you heal a heal pool full to 13 million once again when you lose some HP, right? So everything will still work, your, your fighter's bindings, the heal, everything will work, but at the same time it will be very difficult to heal this heal pool all the way to the fullest. But that is where I came up with this guy, the Bow of Lost Souls. So this one has a built-in under my conduit, so that means every time when I destroy a mob it will also heal me, but um, it will heal me for an X percentage of my max HP, so it will heal me for a lot. So let's take down this Squall Golem. <laughs> you guys will see, like, whoa, what the hell is going on? If he actually... Oh, he does have a soul, a soul squad golem. 500,000 HP he heals me. So, yeah, you can tell that this is <laughs> pretty broken. So, um, let's get to the boss, guys. I mean, we're gonna have to try this out, right? We're gonna take some artifacts, some, some things that will allow us to deal a little bit more damage. So, we're gonna take a Gong of Weakening... And I think that's it. I mean, we also took this goat gear with the acrobat. So it, in my opinion, it's pretty cool. So you can just keep rolling all the time. I can also steal some movement speed of enemies. Can you listen to me in chat? Oh, yes, Esteban. I can definitely do that. Uh, let me scroll up for a second. It looks like you haven't said Sethi for a while. Is there someone to gift me a verdant robe with two times cooldown reduction? Clone a character and gift it to 
Punk Rope. It is possible for sure. I can do something like that. You should actually go to the Discord because many people right there are very willing to trade. We have a huge, awesome community right there with over 1,250 people. So <laughs> you can tell that I am just OP right now. I can just keep slaying mobs. You have only one health boost enchantment. Yes, that's correct. Hey, what is the Discord called? It's the it's the Forium Army, pretty much. You should just check it out in the description. It's right there. I do like to get my hands on some artifact cooldown, though. I should find something with um, life boost and two times cooldown reduction. That would be so crazy, man. Actually, I think I'm just gonna go for double mushroom if I have two of them. I'm not really sure about that. Because my damage right now is not crazy. But you can tell that my HP, it, it's it's not going away. It's not a hack, but it's it's just OP. We are currently playing on the Apocalypse level 7 plus 20, by the way, for the people who just joined the Discord. Just I mean, just joined this live stream. Let's go for a second mushroom. Oh, we don't have one. That's, that's a fortunate business, really. We should... Get her hands on one in the in the base, maybe. Maybe a second gong could work. I do have one for that. I am going to Discord, and do you have to pay? No, 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 no. You don't have to pay for Discord. Everything is free right there. You've got her hands on a golden chest. That is nice. Mystery armor. By the way, I found a pretty cool mystery armor a little bit earlier today. And these guys won't allow me to roll onto that platform. That is that's so nice. There we go, it's all a lot easier with the gun. Even the creepers, they don't scare me right now. They don't deal any damage. So I just stay on full HP, man. 13 million. 4EM, do you have Discord? Yes, I just shared it in, uh, in the description, actually. It's always there. So if you want to check out the Discord community, it's very awesome. We have like... 1,250 people right there, or even more already. Is it the artifact that gives you higher health after you die? It's an enchantment, really. So um, when we look at my armor right now, uh, the goat armor, the goat gear, it's called life boost. So each time you expand a life, your maximum health increases. So uh, what you have to do in order to make this activate, pretty much, you have to equip the gear right before you revive the third time. So when you get all your lost H life, your lost HP, then uh, you're gonna have to equip the gear which has the life boost on it, and then you will have this crazy thing going on. So uh, you will always have about like 13 million HP. So look at this, guys. Enchanted creepers, three of them just exploded right into me and nothing happens really. I mean, I still have 12 million HP, so what's happening? I could just stand right here. These guys are just hammering on me right now. Of course, I'm just gonna calm them and use my death cap mushroom. It will allow me to take them down a little bit easier. And wow, we actually got our hands on two items. That is pretty cool. Tempest knife, 167, and a emerald gear. Maybe this emerald gear is cool. Oh, this one also has the life boost. It would be very cool, by the way. Oh, this one has a 40% potion cooldown. This one as well, but uh, oh man, it would be so nice if we could actually find something with health boost plus cooldown reduction. That would be the dream. Maybe you should try out the Windcraft. It's a Java server. Oh, Spy Pro, I could definitely do that. Right now, I'm pretty occupied with the uh, Minecraft dungeons, though. But um, I should maybe 
check out one of those servers pretty soon. Dylan Cassine, I uh, just shared the info, so this is a glitch right now that literally breaks the Apocalypse Plus, so <laughs> these creepers, they just keep running into me. And this guy just revived, also exploding, and look at my HP, still 12 million. By the way, for the people who just joined the Discord, it's um something that um, Lord Force found out, so you should check out the description and also hit like button on his latest video and subscribe to his channel because he is a really really nice guy he always shares like the the latest glitches the latest bugs it would be uh, very cool if we could actually uh, grow his channel a little bit with his live stream just gonna collect the stuff right here oh we should focus a little bit more on the rolling as well How to activate this glitch on the PS4? Okay, okay, okay. Everybody is watching right now, so maybe I should quickly reset the level. What do you guys think? Should I requit? Quickly just reset the level and show every single one of you guys to activate the bug or... Just beat Howling Peaks. All right. <laughs> My uh, spying pro. See you next time, dude. Thanks for being here. Um, I think we forgot one, actually. Can you play a little bit without the glitch? So to see how you can handle Apocalypse level 20. Oh, I can definitely do that. Not today, though. I just want to share this glitch with many people. So they will patch it pretty soon. I mean, Mojang has to know about this. They have to patch it as quick as possible. Because otherwise, it's going to stay here. And it will... Pretty much break the game for many, many people. Clearly, there are many, like, bigger channels who are sharing things of uh, Minecraft Dungeons. I'm the sole person, really, <laughs> making a lot of content for it. So, um, I feel like it's a responsibility I have to take. How do you do this glitch on, uh, on Xbox? Well, it's very simple. Let me explain it to you in a second. I'm just gonna get rid of these skeletons. We need a weapon that hits a little bit harder as well, though. Maybe we should do something like that. We actually have another Resolute Tempest knife. Where is it? Okay, here it is. We have crit. We have. Shockwave, Thundering, and Swirling. Maybe we should go with a Swirling and then with Thundering as well. We don't need any heals and all. We actually need a few more enchantment points. Let's see if we can disenchant something. I don't really like salvaging things right now, but um, we're going to have to do it anyways, guys. Or not. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, man. Do we really have to salvage something nice? I don't know, guys. Maybe we have to go to the base first. For a salvage something. It would be a shame to just get rid of my best gear. Alright, we're not gonna do it, man. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna change the weapon pretty soon. We'll just stick with this for now. Yeah, it's a sad reality of salvaging <laughs> indeed, h Lady. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices, but this time I feel like I shouldn't do that. We can put like three items in um, the blacksmith right after we completed this level, so then we will get our hands on many, many new chapel points. Activate the beacons. I'm just gonna skip all these mobs. I mean, they're not gonna kill me in any way. I'm just gonna activate all this stuff. Try to catch me, boys. <laughs> it's so easy mode this way with the with this bug, this glitch. 
Look at all these mobs chasing me down. It's They're not going to do anything. I'm just going to gong them and bam, we're just going to destroy every single one of them. Strength potion. Easy mode. I should actually change the title to Apocalypse Level 7 plus 20 as well. It will make it more accurate because really that's what we're on right now. All these guys, look at that. <laughs> Easy boat. Oh yeah, Sebastian, you should definitely get your hands on the scatter mines. They are so much fun. I used to place the scatter mines exactly right here. So uh, maybe if you haven't seen my artifact video yet, then you should check it out. We, I rigged the place like twice with scatter mines and then I summoned in the, um, the squall golems with a button and then I just walk a little bit backwards and then they just walk onto the mines and they get insta killed on a difficulty. It's great stuff. What do you think of a Cursed Axe with Crit Swirling and Radiance? Hmm. I think you shouldn't go with Radiance on a Cursed Axe. The attack speed is not fantastic. So um, I definitely recommend because of its high base damage as well that you should go for uh, Leeching as uh, as damage, uh, as healing uh, enchantment actually. Is the glitch activated only by using life boost or do you need another enchantment artifact? Shiny Kitty, actually you only need the life boost enchantment. So we're just standing right here. Apocalypse level 7 plus 20 guys. So I'm just gonna look at my gear right now because we're not getting killed anytime soon. So you're just gonna take the life boost enchantment. Each time you expend a life, your maximum health increases. So I just suicided three times. So you can tell by my current lives I have zero lives left so all you have to do is pretty much die three times and right before you respawn the last time you're gonna equip the armor with life boost and then you will revive with yes <laughs> i revived with 30 million hp so uh, there's that By the way, for the people who just joined, really, you should check out Lord Force's uh, channel because he found out about this. <laughs> is Great Axe Blade good? Oh, yes, it is. It's a really nice weapon, but um, in my opinion, for higher apocalypse play, you should definitely get your hands on an item with like a high attack speed because this will allow you to use Radiance, in my opinion, the best heal for a weapon. So um, it will also give you a lot more survivability. Hey, Levi Bui, welcome to the stream. You just started watching 35 seconds ago, you so you probably don't know what the hell is going on right here. So we still have to kill something, right? Ah, oh, these two guys, they were lost a little bit. There we go. Now we can press the button. Is there a glitch that makes some unique easier to find? Um, I don't think so. I do know that you can cheat, you can use hacks, but um, I am not a cheater. I just want to share this glitch, so hopefully Mojang will pick it up and fix it as soon as possible. It will be nice that literally every single one of you guys knows about it, because then we will all start using it and also share it on Reddit, and then they will see it pretty soon and of course hopefully fix it very, very soon. Let's just press those buttons, guys. Is the life boost enchantment hard to get? Actually, no, because 
it's just a random enchantment. You can get every single armor enchantment occasionally. I mean, not one is rarer than the other. We do have those more powerful enchantments though, but I think every single enchantment is the same chance to get, their ha get your hands on it, really. Is this life? Two little vloggers. Yes, this is life. I can see you right there. So, um, I'm watching you. Be careful. <laughs> you guys know that I'm most of the times making these premieres. And yes, yes, I do that because I really like to read the chat, etc. But most of the times I really don't have the time to stream. And I screwed up right here. This is how it's working. I have the Hero Edition, but I still can't play Howling Peaks. Dude, um, honestly, <laughs> you won't be able to play the Howling Peaks with um, the Hero Edition. You actually have to get your hands on the Season Pass. The Season Pass is another purchase that you have to make. And yes, I know, it will cost money. Or you can actually just buy Howling Peaks DLC itself. It costs $6 then. So it's $1 more, but I definitely recommend you to get your hands on the Season Pass because for $20 you will get 4 DLCs, including this one of course. And I think it is definitely worth it because Howling Pigs DLC is so nice. I really enjoy this one. It's great stuff. It's way better than um, the Jungle Awakens and the Creeping Winter DLC. We get our hands on 4 artifacts. We get... Um, let's see... 4 new unique pieces of armor. Four unique weapons, so there is many, many stuff. Oh, these cows, man. <laughs> they also look pretty cool. Thank god they don't burn me. What's happening? It's not working for me. There we go. Oh, this guy just fell down. Poor guy. Forium, can I join your server on Bedrock? Oh, yes, you can. Actually, some people managed to uh, fix it already. So what you have to do is uh, Google Geyser MC. If you if you Google that, it will allow you to get on the server pretty much. On the Discord, you also have a guy called Spine Pro. He managed to do this on my last video, actually, where I did the contest winner announcement. Some people also asked about this and... Um, there are some replies right there that might be interesting for you to check out. J the J is gaming, thanks dude. That is awesome to hear. Alright, let me quickly change the title because this is actually apocalypse level 7 plus 20 people need to know this apocalypse plus 20 gameplay there we go save it should save right now let's refresh on the laptop You're invincible. How? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I am invincible. So, um, we're currently on a glitch, which is the life boost glitch, pretty much. So, what it does is pretty much, um, yeah, give me a lot of HP. So, I'm currently at 13,200,000. Oh, these guys are invisible. Do you see that? Look at that. We've got some invisible llamas, I think. There we have him! Oh, that is crazy. <laughs> Epic. Where is the other guy? They are sneaky. I don't like invisible llamas. The cow can live, but the llamas, please, no. Hey guys, recommend me some good Android games. Mm, I think you shouldn't play on Android, dude. You should play Minecraft Dungeons. Could you explain the glitch please? Thanks. Franklin? Oh yes, for sure. So um, what you're gonna do 
is get your hands on a piece of armor, life boost enchantment. That is everything you need, nothing more, nothing less, just the life boost. Each time you expend a life, your maximum health increases. And on the maximum tier, this is 33%, but really, um, what you have to do is pretty much die three times. So you can see right now that I am on zero lives left. So this is my last life. Right before you revive, what you're going to do is equip that piece of armor with the tier 3 life boost. And then you revive with, I don't know man, for me on the power level 169, it was 13 million HP. So um, that is how you do it. That's all that's to it. But of course, you have to make sure you keep the armor equipped. You are not allowed to change anything. And that's all that's to it, really. Life boost is a common enchant. Yeah, that's correct. Normally, it should be as overpowered as it is right now, but um, it's a bug. If you normally equip the gear, then nothing strange will happen. It will work like a normal enchantment. But if you equip the piece of armor with life boost tier 3 right before you revive on your final life, then this crazy HP boost will happen. So it's a clearly it's a big glitch. And we actually failed to open the gate right here. So that is not nice. Let's do that right now. We have to open the second gate. I think I failed to press a button or something like that. Four AM, why do you always fail, buddy? Epic fails. What the diamond sword does. Uh, the diamond sword, it just deals more damage. Sebastian Aguilar, I have a challenge for you. Okay, bring it, dude. Bring it. Ah, right now it is open. That is sweet. By the way, I definitely recommend you guys to get your hands on the gold gear. It's super fun to play with. Look at my rolling. I can't roll so many times with this acrobat. No, 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 no. Come back. <laughs> I don't like it when the key runs away. Why is it always running away? Seriously, I have to destroy these mobs first, I guess. They're making it super annoying right here. Normally, I just speed run past these guys and oh, this is just not happening. This is just, <laughs> just... They're trolling me right now on the live stream. That is fantastic. Oh! Well, right now, it is time to revenge these. There we go. Man, I hate this part. Oh, yes. <laughs> Giovanni, exactly. This is such a horrible place. You just want to deliver the key and these guys, they just annoy you all the time. Yusef Salem, do you know about the season pass for him? Come on, please listen. Oh, yeah, dude, I do know about it. I actually have it right now. This is how you can get your hands on the Howling Peaks DLC, really. Whoops. Now we're gonna press the button and we get inside the waterfall. If you guys didn't know yet about this tactic, all you have to do is just Look at the map. You see a chest, so you just go down right here, press the button, et voila. There we have it. And I always get bad gear. Does it have to be the goat armor, Ben's gaming and sporting channel? No, 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 no. You can just take any piece of armor you want. Any piece of armor with life uh, boost. And that will be it. We also have a unique chest right there. I mean, unique chest, just a obsidian chest, really. Do you speak French fluently? Uh, no. <laughs> Pas du tout. C'est un peu difficile pour moi, mais je peux parler français un petit peu. There you have it. What's the best in chat? Oh man, yeah, life boost, I guess. Life boost is pretty crazy right now. It's probably the most OP enchantment that you can get your hands on. 
All right, guys, let's 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 take this chest, really. There we go. People actually explained me how to get the chest the regular way, but I still haven't figured out how to do it. All I do is just go to this place, use one of my feathers, and then just jump to it. <laughs> That's how I do it, really. So let's just take the feather, and there we go. And this time we didn't get our hands on Unique, unfortunately. But that's fine, that's fine, guys. We're pretty close to the boss right now as well. J'ai parlé français pendant 9 années et toi? Oh, I do... I did learn some French at school back in the day, but um, I actually live in Belgium, so that means... Oh, we have a puzzle right here. What the hell? I haven't seen this one yet. I only speak French when I'm on holidays. I do love to go on holidays to France, though. They have great food, great environment, great nature, great culture, great everything, pretty much. Only the payage is horrible, right? <laughs> if you if you live in France, you know about payage. It's terrible. Go to the left and press a button. I'm just gonna press this one, I guess. And we just keep getting our hands on Mystery Armor. I like it. These guys are just gonna spawn in. I'm just gonna ignore them. Wow, look at all these zombies, man. It's like a zombie party right there. So what did we just find? We find a mystery armor with potion cooldown pushback resist. And yeah, it's not fantastic. This one has range damage. Whoa, arrows and range damage. That's cool. Look at all these mobs behind me. Is the obsidian chest I found a broadsword? What? Oh, that's cool. What are the chances of critical hit or curing? Well, it really depends on how many times you enchanted it. Uh, for me, it's 20% chance to trigger, so uh, that is the tier 3. So many enemies right here. Can you find the health boost armor in the normal levels or only in DLC? Oh, no, no, no. I think it's available for every single one of you guys. I uh, actually found it on armor in the regular levels as well. Let me show it to you guys in a second. I actually first want to kill these enchanters because they are super annoying. So I did some regular runs, some uh, basic runs on the mainland. And uh, I actually found this right here so let's scroll up a little bit this black wolf armor no 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 this is not the one what the hell where is it let's go to armor i think it's actually in the blacksmith right now oh wait a second no 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 this is it so we found the black wolf armor this one has multi rolls so grants extra rolls and also the life boost enchantment so that means you can also just find them on the mainland and this is also what the mojang team said they said we're gonna add some free enchantments to the game and of course the dlcs are going to be paid so uh, the enchantments themselves you should be able to get them on the mainland for him can you give a corrupted pumpkin mm, that is gonna be difficult because i only have two of them and actually like to keep both of them for a build i'm currently working on But uh, then again, for people, if you want to trade, if you want to get your hands on a certain item, and also if you have some nice items to trade with other people, you should definitely check out the Discord, because right there, there are so many people that love to trade. Wow, so much fire going on right here. The only thing that we can't do right now is, is fall down and lose our lives. We don't want that, really, we don't want that. These wind colors, man, they are so annoying. Oh, I just destroyed this guy. Hell, I'm actually destroying every single one of them right now. With these overpowered enchantments. This wind color is probably gonna knock me off pretty soon, though. And he is turning invisible every single time. We're just fighting our way through. There we go. Just 
carefully walking over these pipes. Not reading the chat right now, guys. Hold on for a second. I'll do that in a second, but I'm focusing right now. There we go. There we go. Oh, that is nasty. He has some enchantment. He's pulling me towards him. I subscribed a few weeks ago. That is awesome, Levi. Welcome to the channel. How is Furia not talking? What? How do you mean? I am talking, right? I had sleep time. See you, HNLD. See you next time. Thanks for being here. How do you do the glitch? I will show it to you guys in a second. Furia, can you just clone your avatar? Uh, yes, but I am not a big fan of cheating, pretty much. <gasps> oh, we just fell off. That is not cool. And we just fell off once again. That is great. But really, let me just read the chat for a second. So, um, I love this channel. Okay, that is nice. I love your vids. Oh, that is nice to hear as well. But really, uh, for the people who just joined and uh, Hero Brand King, welcome to the stream as well. So, um, since live boost will be nerfed, will it still be worth to have? Actually, I did some testing and it feels pretty cool because let's, let's check it out for a second. So on tier three, each time you expend a life, your maximum health increases. Normally, it would give us three times 33% extra HP at the maximum tier when it gets fixed. So that means with 67,000 HP, you actually get about 130,000. So of course, it would be pretty nice to get your hands on four Apocalypse. But then again, I don't know, man, there are some other enchantments, for example, Chilling. I think this is a top tier enchantment for Apocalypse. So uh, you should definitely go for the Chilling. And Final Shot can also be very nice. I already covered this in many different videos, many different builds. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, Snowball. Fires a snowball at nearby enemies. Few seconds, briefing, stunning it. Briefly stunning it, wow. There we go. Oh, this guy. Furium, did you get the scatter mines? Oh yes, Giovanni, I did. Actually, found quite a few of them. I already showcased them in a video yesterday or the day before. They are great fun, especially to take down the Squall Golems. Let's uh, trigger the event right here. Oh, but seriously, the enchanters are so annoying. You always have to take them down first, guys. <laughs> Royal Guard spawns, oh yeah. I like the sound of it. But really, we are currently playing on Apocalypse level 7 plus 20, guys. You can tell that this is insane. These guys, they stand no chance. I'm getting slowed a little bit right here, but at the same time, it matters not. We can just keep going. Enter the Tempest Chamber. So for the people who haven't watched the streams yet, this is the final boss. This is the Tempest Golem. So also for the people who are new to Minecraft Dungeons, welcome to the game. This is the boss of the Howling Peaks DLC. And in my opinion, it's a pretty cool boss fight. So we have the big guy right there. And then we have all his small minions, all powered by the wind, pretty much. He has glitched life things. Really? I think he's he's not really glitched. Saigon the Hood Gamer. Forium, can you share a link to your cape skin, please? I love it. Oh, for sure. I was thinking about this like a couple days ago to share it on, um, on the Nexus Mods website, but um, I can definitely upload it so you guys will be able to use it as well. Uh, so... Um, this is what it looks like right now. Normally, it lo just looks like a red cape, but uh, for me, it's a blue one. And uh, my character itself also has a different face. I made this with uh, with Photoshop. All right, guys. Let's get right to it. <laughs> Since we have a life boost, it really matters not if if we screw up. Really, we can't screw up right now. But um, let's just destroy these mobs, right?
So what you should do with this uh, boss fight is pretty much fight around one pillar. So then you will disable the shield of the of the Tempest Golem, and then it will open at a certain point. I'm also gonna stand right here because for some reason it's not opening right now. Now it does. So there we go. We do the um, Gong of Weakening and wow, look at the damage. Just one burst, almost 30% of each HP. <laughs> you will kill him, I believe in you. Oh, yes, I will. I believe in myself too. Hey, Montgomery Cat. What's up, dude? Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you right here. We're soon gonna resume the Hardcore Survival series. It's just that there's so much to do with the Howling Peaks DLC. I think I'm gonna upload a new episode tomorrow. I think that's a nice time to upload one. Tempest Golem is a noob and a loser. <laughs> that is an awesome comment, dude. What did I miss? Um, you didn't miss anything, really. We're still fighting the Tempest Golem, but he stands no chance. Look at that. Oh, baby. Mimi, by extra life do you mean HP or more respawn? Well, I have extra life, let's say. Not just a little bit. <laughs> I have a lot of extra HP. I currently have 13 million HP. All thanks to Lord4, so... If you just started watching the video, watching the stream, then you should check out his channel as well, because he found about his uh, bug. He definitely deserves some credit for it. I think the Tempest Golem is bugged right now. Or not. Pursuitly, I don't have God Mode on, but this is a, a glitch, a cute, huge glitch, HP glitch, uh, that is working like a charm on every single platform. So you can do it on the PC, you can do it on the on the Switch, on the PlayStation, on the Xbox, every single console, really. Hi, Rosini, you're from Italy. Oh, that is really cool. My girlfriend is from Italy as well. My favorite country, really, when it comes to food. I love pasta and pizza. Pasta scampi is my favorite, really. Or pasta frutti di mare. Bam! There we go. That's how you deal with the boss, guys. Easy peasy. So we got our hands on a unique a bone bow of level 165. Lord Force also found a way to get infinite torment quiver, firox arrow, arrows, and a dynamo bug. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord Force found about a pretty cool rolling build some time ago, but I, I think it got nerfed to the bone right now. I mean, rolling builds are nerfed big time. GG boss, get, get wrecked, noob. Oh yes. So guys, that's it. The level. Hey, Montgomery Cat. What's up, dude? As the Tempest Golem and the Shard are destroyed, you do videos to become a YouTuber, Fraser Stone. What do you mean, really? And yes, Montgomery Cat, of course I remember you. You wrote a very epic uh, game rule on the, um, on the Hardcore Survival series. I actually talked about it like two minutes ago. Stuff like that. I was saying like, uh, we should definitely continue with that one pretty soon. It's just that um, the Howling Peaks DLC has so much to offer. I like to showcase all the things, but tomorrow I'm probably gonna uh, make a new Hardcore Survival episode. So we could handle quite some things. And we also just completed some levels, so that means I can actually go for a weapon with more damage. But the question is, what do we put in there? Let's say I'm gonna get rid of the Feral Soul Crossbow for now, we don't really need it. We just wanna get some enchantment points back, really. So 
also gonna get rid of this one or actually this one because the rolling gold is broken it doesn't work anymore swift for it is nice this one yeah it's cool but oh no i shouldn't have done that really because the 171 power level might get decreased after this upgrading but at the same time the enchantments weren't as powerful anymore so it would be nicer to actually reroll this one Show me how to get the Verdant Rope. Dude, it's actually not that difficult. What you should do is go to the Soggy Cave and search for the Avocation Rope family. This is where you will be able to get your hands on uh, the Verdant Rope. On Soggy Swamp, it also drops. So these two are your best bet, really. But sometimes you can go to the merchants. They might sell it if you're a little bit lucky or a luxury merchant. Let's do some rerolls, guys. I am pretty poor right now, but... I always like to do a couple of them, and yes, of course, I always get really, really bad stuff. Got to go, J to J's Gaming. All right, dude, see you next time. Thanks for being here at the Premiere. Let's do some rerolls right here as well. Oh, that is nice. Oh, well, actually, we already have two updraft tomes. We want something else. I'm gonna take a second Death Cap Rush Room because. Like a couple of minutes ago, I was saying like I wanted to get my hands on the second one. So right now, guys, it is time to showcase the bug because some of you guys just joined the stream and are probably quite interested in how to get this to work. So I'm just going to salvage some gear right here. We don't want to have all this garbage sitting in the inventory. So uh, what you're going to do for this bug is pretty much focus on um, the life boost enchantment. Just always putting these three feathers in front, so I know I don't want to salvage anything that's below it. We have everything right there, that's cool. So, uh, what level? Which level should we do, guys? Colossal Rampart or Windswept Peaks? We just did the Gale Sanctum, so I'd like to do something else right now. Just leave it uh, in the chat, and I have a second to read the comments a little bit. Oh yes, Montgomery Cat. The salvage sound effect is truly satisfying. Colossal Rampart. Okay. Oh, 4 am 2.0. <laughs> that is such a nice nickname. Okay. Let's see. I bet this guy is popular. Do Colossal Rampart. I've never seen it, of course. Let's go for it, guys. Apocalypse level 7 plus 20. So um, we're going to showcase the bug one right now, so uh, every single one of you guys will know how to do it. So here we are. Um, what we're going to do, you don't want to have the armor equipped right off the bat, so we're just going to equip the Verdant Rope right here. This one makes me pretty squishy. What we're going to do is just get killed, and guys, get killed multiple times. <laughs> oh, my corpse, it's so sad. So that is the first death. Look at your lives, guys. This is... We are still on two lives left. But that has to be zero. So we're just gonna stand right there. Bam. Is it open for purchase? Do you have early access? What do you mean? Oh, this is actually live. You can play it yourself right now. And this is our last life. So right now, when we get killed, we equip the gold armor. And now it says last chance. But hey, bam. 9 million HP. Right now, we're gonna drink the potion and... We are on 13,400,028. <laughs> so there you have it. That is pretty much everything you have to do. So uh, we have this armor with life boost. Each time when you expand a life, your maximum health increases. Glad green. I just triggered the glitch. So that is what we're doing right here. We're making it so we're quite invulnerable. So uh, you can tell right now that I was just... Getting killed by these zombies, right? They were almost one hit killing me with a verdant robe. But right now we can just stand right here. And Coltrane 5001, it doesn't have to be the gold armor. You can also do this with something else. All you have to do is get a uh, life boost enchantment. So let's just get past these bad guys. 
All these creepers, guys. All these creepers. It's Apocalypse level 7 <laughs> plus 20. They don't even tickle me. It's as if they're not here. They've been respawning, trying hard to take me down. So many creepers though, what the hell is going on? Wow, they just keep popping up. We're almost through though. Yeah, Montgomery Cat, it is truly broken. But um, the reason why I'm streaming this right now is because I'd love to get more people to know about this bug so then it will go viral pretty much and then the Mojang people will uh, try to fix it as quick as possible. Or, well, that is what they should do really. It would be a shame if this just stays live for a very long time. The Soggy Cave glitch was also there for a long time so... Ben the Pikachu. I power level 39. Oh, poor dude. You should definitely check out one of my videos where I said uh, how to get to the max apocalypse difficulty, the max power level. You can actually do that within an hour if you do it right. If you follow my guide, you will get there in no time, really. You watched it, well, how then uh, are you still on that power level? Something went terribly wrong, I guess. Alexander, what's your favorite DLC so far? Well, um, I'd say the Howling Peaks DLC, it's great fun, really. It gives us so much more to offer in comparison with the previous DLCs. Let's destroy these mobs. And cool, this is, I think, the first time I'm seeing this room. We always go outside and upstairs. There we go. Let's trigger this one as well. Um, this is not the right thing. Something is not working, guys. I'm gonna have to fix this wind. There it is, there it is. Yep, now it's working. I came late, Lord B. What's the glitch? It's, um, well, you, you can see that I'm not dying right now. So, uh, <laughs> the glitch is that my HP is on, I don't know, 13 million right now. So, I uh, can't be killed pretty much. Oh, we've got a golden chest right there. That's nice. Oh, <gasps> God gear! Yeah, boy. That is nice. Let's check it out in a second. Let's first deal with these bad guys. Uh, the Howling Peaks, will it ever have daily trials? I think that's the plan. I think they should have daily trials, but I haven't seen them popping up yet either. So we've got the gold armor. This one has cooldown reduction and acrobat. Oh, I like this one really. Because the good gear, I actually made a tutorial for today or a guide, a full guide to enchant it, how to get your hands on it, etc, etc. But um, acrobat is great stuff on it as well as cooldown reduction, so I'm very happy with this one. One more. There we go. Ooh, the party squad was waiting for me. That's how they tried to do it, but really, I am immortal. Try to beat me, guys.
Let's take this chest as well. How did you do this skull crusher? All right, dude, I will explain it in a second. Let's just first go to the secret chamber right here. I love this place. We will be safe inside. There we go. This is the TNT explosion room. We can actually stand right here because we won't die, dude, with 13 million HP. So what you're going to do for this glitch is pretty much um, die three times. And right before you respawn the third time, what you're going to do is equip a piece of armor with a certain enchantment, which is called the life boost. Each time you expend a life, your maximum health will increase. But um, this is not 100%. So every life counts for like 33% extra HP. So... Uh, three lives lost would mean 99% or, well, pretty much almost 100%. Normally, it would bring us to 130,000 HP. But right now, right before you revive the third time, what you're going to do is equip this piece of armor and then it will give you like 13 million HP, which is <laughs> ridiculous. But uh, that is how it's working right now. Bend the Pikachu, wait for him. Do you have an emerald guide? Oh, yes, I do. What I definitely recommend you to do for uh, emerald farming is to go to uh, lower temple, speedrun that level 24 7, really, and that will allow you to get your hands on so many emeralds. But of course, every time when you see less than 10 chests on the map, I suggest you uh, to reset it. Even at like 12, 13 chests. I like to go for like 14 chests, and then you will know that you will find many of them. Another very cool place for emerald farming would be uh, the Creepy Crypt. This one also has tons and tons of chests hidden in there. Wait, I don't know how to get the lower temple. It's on the desert temple map. So you have to do the desert temple mission and uh, somewhere uh, you ha have to enter a room it's like, I think the first checkpoint where you find the, um, the chest with the food and the arrows. Where you're gonna have to deliver the golden key. You can go to the side where there is a secret obsidian chest. And if you just complete that little event right there, you will be able to get your hands on the secret scroll for the lower temple. Yeah, Glen Green, it's, it's pretty easy. I am looking for a mob right here. Where is he? Ah, skeleton was hiding right here. Hey, Giovanni, I'm I'm sorry to hear that, man. That is really not nice. But your grandpa, I, I hope you're all right, man. It's never nice to, to lose family. It's the worst thing there is. When I lost my first grandpa, I was like, oh my god. He, he fought in the army and um, he actually flew with Spitfire. I thought he was my hero. He was such an awesome guy. We, we did some um, crafting together. I mean, we, we made little mini airplanes. We did some painting together as well. And then all of a sudden he was gone and it was like the end of the world, really. Red Dragon, thanks dude. I really appreciate it. Well, I'm working very hard for this channel, so maybe one day I will get some more subs. Just, just what day? <laughs> no, but really, I have high hopes. I have high hopes. Always think positive, I guess. With positivity, you will always be victorious. Bye bye, bye bye. <laughs> We're just rolling through this level. It's so funky. But uh, this is a dead end, or else it looks like it.
We're gonna have to some battle some bad guys right here. I'm using the life boost bug right now. Revenge against Mojang for adding invisible <laughs> mobs. Dorado, that is an awesome comment. Indeed, it's revenge because they did many, many nerfs. So I think it's it's good revenge. They took away so many of our things. We just strike back with revenge, right? No, but seriously, they should try to fix this as quick as possible. I think it's not very difficult. What you're gonna have to do first is just disable the life boost enchantment in general if they don't know how to fix it straight away. That would be something, but right now every single one of you guys will be able to run through Apocalypse level 7 plus 20 without a problem. You can just do whatever you want, man. With 13 million HP, you can't really screw up, right? But man, there are so many mobs right here. It's crazy. Hero Brand King, that's some wise words, man. It is important to embrace your emotions because that is the only way to let them go. Wise words of a wise man. By the way, congrats to Hero Brand King, guys. He won a Minecraft uh, Java edition today. He made a very cool build on the, the survival multiplayer server. And he's such a nice guy because he actually gave away this key to uh, one of his friends. So he won it for his friends. So big congrats. For him, listen to the best artifact against the Illusioner is the Satchel of Elements. Oh, yes, I know, I know. I actually showcased this in my previous stream. It's very, very powerful because this will annihilate all the mobs around you. So then, um, indeed, he doesn't stand a chance. Alright, we're gonna have to activate some uh, war machines right here. Oh, that is not the plan, guys. Ah, oh, seriously? Can't get through this. So, uh, for the people who just joined the stream, welcome, by the way. Do you know how to activate the bug yet? The glitch, the life glitch? If you want me to explain it, just let me know in uh, in the comment section, because I already explained it many times. But seriously, if you if you are hesitating to ask it, just just ask it, man. The glitch is awesome. Oh yes, it is. It's awesome and horrible at the same time. It shouldn't happen, really. It shouldn't be there. It's a terrible bug. All right, guys, <laughs> look at all these mobs. Normally, on Apocalypse level 7 plus 20, this would be my dad. But look at my HP right now. 10 million HP, 9 million 600. Of course, you will eventually die, but... Really, I just use one potion and I will heal for 4 million HP. It's ridiculous. Black, I don't want this to be fixed. Well, I do because... Otherwise, Minecraft Dungeons won't be as much fun anymore. If this doesn't get fixed, I mean, then there would be no challenge at all anymore for us. Alright, oh, wow, they're reducing my attack and movement speed greatly right here. Let's get the hell out of this place. Let's go to that banner lord because we've got a mini boss inside this uh, garrison. <laughs> oh, no, I really enjoy the game with a bug. Yeah, I guess in some way it's it's nice for a while, but if it's every day like this, then there would be no challenge, right? All oh, these royal guards. What the hell is going on? Look at this. They're walking around me, but they're not attacking me. That is so strange.
so many castle guards. Oh, yes. I just dropped my phone on my face and it hurts. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I guess it hurts indeed. That's not really nice, dude. So we need a Loki right now. Let's, let's get our hands on this straight away. It should be around here. But of course, we're going to have to take care of these mobs first. Oh, so many of them. With electrified everything, guys. Everything you can imagine. It's all here, but uh, they don't stand a chance. I'm still full HP right now. Why do they run so fast? Well, this is Apocalypse level 7 plus 20. They always run this fast. If you play on the lower difficulty level, they don't do this crazy stuff. They are no flipping ninjas, but right now they are. What's your favorite Howling Peaks level? Oh, that is so difficult. I think... It's gonna be the Gil Sanctum. Mm, I don't know. Uh, the... I like the Rampart, it's pretty cool, but I think the way how you progress through this level is a little bit strange. Some locations are super nice, but some of them are a little bit off. They feel like not really used in an optimal way. They could have done so much more with them. For example, the place with the war machines, uh, it's a huge area. It's like a huge outside area. Uh, they could have added more events, but right now it actually feels like a pretty hollow place. Which you can speed run through very quickly. On uh, the Guild Sanctum you have the Squall Golem events, the puzzles. They are nice, but they are a li little bit easy as well. Um, of course the Squall Golems are a little challenge. They are pretty cool. And then on the first level we have... Wait a second. I think we have a chest right here. I'm not really sure, but... Oh no, no, wait a second. We have the key. In the first level, the Windswept Peaks... It's really cool, but it's also very repetitive if you do it like 20 times and most of you guys have already done it many times because, uh, yeah, the secret level was a struggle to get your hands on, right? I like the balls in the gill sanctum. Oh yeah, it's a very cool boss. What are those wind guys? These are called wind callers. This is an enchanted wind caller. Let's see if I can find one. One more guy, I will show you guys how it works. So here he is, he's invisible actually. That's nasty. So they pretty much use the wind to harass you. They knock you up in the air and stuff like that. This guy is trying to just knock me away right now. Now he's gonna knock me in the air, but yeah, the coat armor already has the pushback resistance. Sometimes they push you away as well. Look at that. Let me drink my Coca-Cola for a second. Only just got the DLC yesterday, I can't wait. Yeah, it's 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 great stuff, dude. Alright, let's take the key and get the hell out of this place. <laughs> this guy is invisible though. You definitely have to be careful for those guys. Invisible creepers, invisible ravagers, they are the worst, really. Mark my words. Uh oh. Our key is gone. No, it's running away. It's running away. It's so fast as well. These guys are for real. Actually, what I'm gonna do? Okay, never mind. They dropped it. They dropped it. They're just probably gonna just keep dropping it. That's the horrible thing. They take it away from you, but they don't keep it themselves. Would be nice if they can actually just deliver it for you. My key just disappeared, that's so weird. It's just gone! I'm just gonna take care of every single mob right here. And then we're gonna run through. Actually, let's just double check right here. 
For them, where are the chests in the creepy crypt? Well, Ben, the Pikachu, um, everywhere really. You're just gonna have to search for different locations. I actually made a video about that as well. So um, I think it is called chest farming, creepy crypt, something. Um, I will show like every single location on the minimap, which you're gonna have to keep your eyes open for. It will show you the, the secret golden chest locations, the secret obsidian chest locations. So it's definitely worth to check out, really. It's an old video, though. I think I made it in the first month of Minecraft Dungeons, but it's still there. It's it's still worth checking out. It's it's still up to date. Nothing has changed about that. Sometimes you can find about uh, 20 to 30 chests right there. It is crazy. Glenn, what is your favorite artifact? Well... I'd say the death cap mushroom. It sounds a little bit boring, but um, really, you can use it for pretty much every single build. It's such a nice artifact to get your hands on. But um, if we talk about like the most fun artifact, then I'd say the ice wand, the ice wand, or the um, the new one, the satchel, the satchel of elements. It's also so much fun. You can cast lightning strikes. I actually should do something like that in. The next run go with the uh, triple lightning strikes because we could do some experimenting on this apocalypse level 7 plus 20 since we have millions and millions of hp right now so what do you guys think should i go with some random enchantments some new ones of the hauling pigs dlc These hits, man. <laughs> Still, though, 13 million HP left. By the way, for the people who just joined the stream, welcome. And of course, if you uh, like to know how you activate the glitch for yourself, you're currently playing on Apocalypse level 7 plus 20. Just let me know in the comments. I can explain it to you guys. And oh yeah, this is the boss. It's a pretty cool guy, the Banner Lord. He's gonna. There we go. Make the boss. The boss looks hard. Yeah, he is super hard. <laughs> I just destroyed him. Bam. Victorious. So we, oh, we took all the chests, that's cool. 48 million healing done. 40 million damage taken. 100% chest open, 45% mobs defeated. Yeah, I never go for all mobs, really. What's that circle around you? It's actually the potion. So it's a new potion that you can get your hands on in uh, the Howling Pigs DLC. It will reduce the, the knockbacks from the wind and all that stuff. If you could explain the timing of putting the armor on, that would be great. Thanks for him. Bobby, Digi, I will do it right now. Uh, Catman, hey for him, do you still like using the fighter's bindings? Oh, I definitely do. It's, um, it's great stuff, the fighter's bindings, but at the same time, I think the Resolute Tempest Knife is way better. It's, it's my new favorite, actually. So let's check out how you can activate the bug right now, guys. He's getting rid of all this gear right here. Ooh, what hog brand. That's a cool one, but it's not what I'm looking for. Oh, burst boat. This one is cool, but heals allies in the area. Hmm, I don't like this one. I'm just gonna. Oh, boy. That's cool. I'm gonna lock this one. I'm gonna reserve it. Maybe one of you guys like to have it, so. I'm just gonna keep it right there. We we'll always do like one or two rerolls. But right now, let's do the Windswept Peaks because maybe, just maybe, if we're a little bit lucky, we can find the Obsidian Chest. It would be nice to show to you guys as well. Oh, 
All right, so guys, right now I am going to show you the way how you make yourself virtually impossible, uh, Im <laughs> impossible, unbreakable, indestructible. So we found the good gear. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have uh, the life boost, but uh, we can take something else with life boost. Let's just go with. Ba -ba -bum. I'm just gonna equip something random right now. I'm gonna put the gold gear all the way to the top. So this is what we're gonna equip pretty soon. The first one right here. So uh, what you're gonna do in order to activate this live glitch is just walk to some enemies, get yourself killed a couple times, and then right before you die, Right before you, uh, I mean, when you died, right before respawning, on the third respawn, so when your health has, like, the zeros, zero lives left, then you're gonna equip your armor with the life boost on it. So, exactly this enchantment, and only this enchantment. You don't need anything else in order to make this work. And this also works not just on the PC, but on every single platform. So, all the consoles can also do this glitch. So, what you're gonna do is just search... For some mobs. I think these enchanted mobs will definitely destroy me quite fast. Oh, well. <laughs> they are goats. But yeah, you get the point. This guy instantly killed me. So that is what normally Apocalypse Plus does. The maximum apocalypse difficulty. They will all almost insta-kill you. Especially the creepers. They just go boom and you're gone. Right now we have one life left. So we're just gonna... Walk to those mobs. One more time. Get killed. Right now we hear the sound, we are dead, and you just equip the gear, and it says lost chance, now we revive, and look at this guys, 9 million HP, and this is actually not all our HP, when we use a potion, it will increase by 4 million, so in total we have 13 million 400 thousand lives, so that's that, <laughs> that's all that's to it, really, I think it's like the 10th time I already showed it, but uh, really it's... It's, it's worth it. You should you should check it out and um, hopefully Mojang will fix it very soon. Hopefully they will see it all over the internet. That is really the reason why I'm doing this stream. I don't like cheating, but um, I do like to get things fixed as quick as possible. Also the Soggy Cave glitch, I mentioned it many times in my videos. They should have fixed it months ago, but they only fixed it just now, like a couple days ago when the Howling Peaks DLC got released. Of course, this one was only available on the PC, so it was an unfair advantage. So you were able to uh, farm emeralds and uniques quite fast with a controller glitch to get through that door. But um, really, right now, every single platform will be able to do the glitch. So let's check out this place, really. Because I think we will be able to get our hands on a uh, little room right here. These rooms are pretty cool. They look a little bit like... The lower temple. Oh, wait a second. This is not the place we're looking after. Does everybody get the same amount of HP or do you get a certain amount for the armor you have? Oh, yes. I think it's all based on the armor. It's definitely bugged. But um, it's all based on the armor you have. So the higher power level, of course, the better your HP will be as well. So I think with a power level 20, 30, something like that, it won't have as much HP. But really... If you go on power level 169, you will have at least 1 million HP, I think. Come on, guys, try to beat me. <laughs> It's, it's insane, man. Look at all these mobs hitting me. Is that no chance? I actually said I wanted to mix things up a little bit. So maybe I should take some different artifacts, really. Let's uh, go for some satchel of elements, right? 161, 165. That is better. I think we're gonna add three of them, actually. Because the cool hunt is quite long. Bam! Bam! 
That is so much fun. Oh, let's so set these bad boys ablaze. It doesn't when it killed them, of course. Since we're in Apocalypse. Oh, guys! We found the unique! Look at that! This is the secret obsidian chest. So you can find it right here. If you haven't checked out my video, well, you are in luck because um, but this is where you find it. Right now, we'll be able to explain it to you in person. That is great. Let's just first summon some lightning strikes. Pretty lucky that we actually got our hands on this... Uh, this one to spawn. It is pretty rare to find this. Right off the bat, man. Seriously. So you just press the button, which I just did. And um, when you go on the map, the place where we just fought, this location where you have to survive the ambush, it sometimes spawns like these uh, dead end locations. And uh, with a small chance, we'll be able to find the secret obsidian chest. And wow, we just found... A guard gear, that is really cool. Bam, lightning strikes. Bye bye, MLP and plug. See you next time, dude. Glad to have you at the stream. Alright, so this guy. Hmm, cowardice. No cooldown reduction, that is too bad. By the way, if one of you guys has already found a goat gear with a double cooldown reduction and also uh, the life boost or something else, just let me know in the comments down below. You can also um, just reach out to me personally on Discord. I will reply right there without a problem. But uh, really, I am all ears. I'd love to trade. I've got many, many things to trade. I have many uniques. Let's check them out for a second. So there you have them. <laughs> If you need a fighter's bindings or something else, just let me know. Alright, let's do some more events right here. I'd like to get my hands on some more uniques, really. Bam. These guys are so tanky, seriously. Glenn Green, what is your favorite artifact? Um, I think I already replied to that a little bit earlier in the stream. I really like the Death Cap Mushroom because it works for every single situation, it works in every single build. So that could be my favorite, but um, really, the Satchel of Elements is great fun as well. You can tell it by the looks of this. I mean, every time when I activate it, it shoots these lightning strikes. They literally destroy my enemies. Look at that! Oh my god, it's so satisfying. Where's my last enemy? It's hiding somewhere. Oh, I can hear him. Is he invisible? Oh, yeah, he was invisible. This bastard. Deflect invisible double damage. I actually used my satchel twice and nothing happened. The RNG sometimes. Dangerbot, 4EM, what is your favorite unique? Ooh, tough one. I think the Resolute Tempest Knife, really. The one which we can get our hands on on the Howling Peaks DLC right now. Oh, we've got another room right here. That is nice. Another event where we're going to have to fight some mobs. Aren't the Satchels of Elements supposed to summon different things, not just lightning? Oh yes, they do. Sometimes they summon the lightning, sometimes they summon the burning, sometimes they freeze enemies around you. So I just did some burning right there. Of course, the lightning is the most satisfying and the most lethal one in my opinion. We're just standing right here, guys. It's all good, it's all good. Look at my HP! It's hilarious. Mojang, please fix the bug, man. So right now it's not doing any lightnings. 
just keep spamming it. Right now it's always triggering the burning. Now it did nothing. What's the most emeralds you ever had? I think just a little bit above 100,000 because I am very bad at saving emeralds. I always... I don't know, I always burn through them for some reason. I just like to upgrade my gear. Esteban Corzo Ruiz, can we talk for him? Oh, yes, we can talk. Bring it. Oh, that was a double lightning. I like it. Complete Gale Sector with only Howling Peaks gear. Oh, that is a cool challenge. I can definitely do that. After this video, after this level though, I'm probably gonna stop streaming because uh, it's getting pretty late right here. But um, I will definitely do some more streaming pretty soon. So fingers crossed, let's say, for a long, long playthrough. Bam, lightning strikes. At first I thought the guard gear didn't look very cool, but actually now that I'm playing it and wearing this armor, it looks pretty epic. It also blends in pretty nicely with my uh, 4M cape, let's say. Oh, look at that! Double lightning once again. That is sweet. They just keep popping up the lightning strikes. Hey, Rio, what's up, man? Glad to have you at, the, ch at uh, the stream as well. I think it's your first stream, right? You were there at, um, at the premieres quite often, but I haven't seen you on the stream yet. Or maybe once, actually. I think, like, a couple days ago. How does this glitch work? I will tell you in a second. Let's uh, first deal with these mobs right here. They're quite tanky. And they just keep popping up as well. So for this glitch, all you need really is one enchantment on a any piece of armor, really. It's called life boost. And wow, these guys were electrified. Guys, this is apocalypse level 7 plus 20, by the way. You would think that this would instantly kill me. Normally they do. Right now it's not a problem at all. So let's just destroy these mobs right here. And I'll be able to explain it properly. Alright. Here we go. So, um, I can just stand right here because these mobs won't destroy me in any way. I mean, they can not try to, but it will take a while. So, um, I'll be able to explain it. So, um, right now we are wearing the goat gear. This one is power level 169, which also allows me to get to such a high HP level. And um, the life boost on tier 3, each time when you expend a life, your maximum health increases. If you lose 3 lives, that means 3 times 33% extra HP. But there is a problem. <laughs> Mojang left a glitch in the game, which is pretty big, pretty big bug. So what happens when you lose your third life, when you just died right before you respawn, like when you have the screen, the death screen, respawning in three, two, one, what you're gonna do is press inventory and then you're just gonna search for your armor. Uh, let's say I'm gonna equip, I don't know. Yeah, just really any piece of armor that has a tier 3 life boost or a lower tier life boost. And then your HP will go to like, I don't know, 13 million. I currently have 11 million HP left. Danger bot. How did you get the cape? Well, I actually made it myself. I made it with Photoshop, so it's a, it's a mod. But um, 
I already saw some people asking if I could also upload it on uh, on a mod website. So that's what I am going to do tomorrow. First daylight, guys, really. Would be cool to see you guys rocking my cape as well. Uh, Hero Brian King, that would be awesome. But there is already a bug report, actually. Uh, Lord Force, the, the one who found out about this bug, made a uh, bug report, I think, on the Minecraft bug website. But if you do, just go for it, man. I think the more people will uh, report this, the faster it will be uh, fixed. Catman, out of every mob in Minecraft Dungeons, what do you think is the most annoying out there? Oh man, <laughs> I think, I think those guys with, uh, how they're called? The earth colors. They keep placing those totems which explode, they keep putting those walls around you. I think those guys are the worst really. I hate them so bad. I really don't like fighting them. I love killing them though, but um, sometimes they can just keep putting those walls around you and it is almost impossible to escape. Uh, Leonardo, yes, this does work on console. You can do it on any platform, really. It doesn't only work on the PC, but it also works on um, the PlayStation, the Xbox, the Nintendo Switch, everything. Off you go. And this guy too. Bye bye. <laughs> that is so much fun. You can use a ghost cloak. Oh yes. But um, I don't have to really. I can use anything I want right now. And the ghost cloak also got nerfed a little bit. So I don't like it as much right now. I, oh, look at all these zombies. Maybe we should go for something funky right here. Actually, I have an idea, guys. I have an idea. I'm gonna stand right here. I'm gonna stand right here. Oh, do we have a horn with us? No, oh, we don't have a horn with us. No wind horn. That's a shame. Maybe we should play some mines. Or something else. With a feather though, we could actually do something interesting as well. Actually, no, it's not gonna happen. So uh, we're gonna have to use something else in order to deal with these guys. Yeah, I wanted to use the scatter mines, but I can't fight them right now. Where are they? Oh, we only have one right now. You can also use the fire. This is gonna destroy one by one, really. Wow, look at that fire. So we eventually took them down one by one. Oh, lightning strikes, double lightning strikes. I love them. Bye bye. <laughs> Great stuff. The earth colors, yeah, they are sometimes also on colossal red parts. They are super annoying. There we go. Man, the satchel of elements is great fun. Just using three of them right now. It's not very strong. You definitely shouldn't do it, but really, on Apocalypse level 7 plus 20 right now, we can use pretty much anything. Nothing will kill us, really. Let's take the chest first downstairs, but I actually like to go up straight away. Esteban, I have a challenge for you. Every mob has three or four enchantments. That does sound like a challenge indeed, but um, I don't know how to do that really. And Hero Brian Kane, don't make duplicate bug reports, search before making one. It's easy for the team to fix them. And if you find a bug report that you'll find to upvote it. Oh yes, you should. Bam. Would be pretty cool to find an obsidian chest right here, though. 
But it already gives it away. I mean, you can see the golden chest from afar. Now we're gonna have to go up three times. If you go three satchels with triple cooldown, it would be OP, I bet. Uh, well, 4 a.m.? <laughs> it's so cool that I can say my own day, but really. 4 a.m. 2.0? Um, unfortunately, the satchel is bugged right now, so it won't benefit from the cooldown reduction. So it doesn't matter. Even if I use something like this one, I have a piece of armor right here, a gifted piece of armor with triple cooldown reduction. If I use this one, it will still be on 10 seconds, unfortunately. Otherwise, the satchel would be indeed very powerful. It still is, really. So, Mr. Akib, how are you doing today? Um, yeah, I am doing great, man. How are you doing today? Oh, so many bad guys. But still... I really don't like the, the Ravagers. The <laughs> funny thing is, you can stand right here. Come on, let's 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 kill him. Let's kill him with the wind. This is gonna be fun. I'm just gonna stand right here. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, get in, <laughs> get in. <laughs> this is so funny. Well, they don't want to die as quickly. I'm just gonna use my other effects. The big guys, they don't move. The wind is not powerful enough. Chris Morris, um, I'm using a glitch right now, HP glitch, so this literally makes me impossible to die. Unkillable. 13 million HP, as you can see right here. I'm trying to spread some awareness. They should fix this bug as quick as possible. And by the way, for the people who just joined the stream, guys, um, it would be very awesome if you could just uh, go to Lord Force's uh, YouTube channel, which is in the description right now. Uh, he actually found out about this bug, so um, you should leave him a like on his channel or maybe even subscribe to him because he does release some pretty cool glitches from time to time. I'd really appreciate if you do that. He's a great guy. GB, how does it work? Well, I'm gonna share it in a second, dude. Uh, let's deal with these mobs first. So, um... It basically triggers when you equip a piece of armor um, right before you revive with your last life. So um, what you're gonna have to do is get yourself killed three times and um, then right before you respawn the last time with your lives when it's on zero. So right now my lives are also on zero. Then you're gonna equip your piece of armor with um, the life boost. Tier three life boost, that is what I recommend. just well actually I want to get the second chest it's gonna spawn right here there it is and of course we didn't get rewarded for it that's always the case man so you can see that these guys also don't oh nice guys <laughs> are you kidding me I actually found an obsidian chest on this level I made a tutorial on how to fight the secret level and so many guys were annoyed by the fact that they couldn't find the secret level. And here it is, the secret level. Man oh man. First try today on the stream. This is, this is ridiculous. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna take the, the feather. You can also do it in another way, but uh, we're just gonna stand right here. And bam, there we go. This guy doesn't know how to get up and I can just destroy him with lightning. Also, does the HP glitch happen on console edition? Games, games. Oh, yes, man. You can 
make it happen on every single platform. PC, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, you name it. So uh, let me just show you guys for a second where you can find the secret level. Because it is a cool one. And oh, yeah, I actually did a little feather roll right here to get on... Well, it's gonna be tricky with all these bad guys standing in the way. Let's deal with them first. This guy doesn't even want to fight me. Look at that. He's got protection at Thor's. He's just standing there like, okay, for him, just kill me because I don't want to live anymore. I'm just going to use a feather right here. It's probably a way faster way to get through, but... Uh, how did I do it last time? I don't even remember anymore. Well, we don't need it either. It's just a wooden chest. I just wanted to check it out. So we do have this place. Can we actually roll? No, we cannot do that. That is too bad. With a feather, you could probably do it. Hey, Ben the Pikachu, welcome back. Esteban, how did you get your name for him? Well, people ask this every single day. I, and I honestly don't even know the answer to it. Back in the days, I used to play till like super late. And uh, it was for yeah, much later many times but I don't know my favorite number was two four was also a cool number and I think it just happened on a random day I woke up and I said 4am is gonna be how I want to die wow that just happened double so this guys is where you find the secret location on the windswept peaks this is by the way so um, let's check out the room for a second. So it's a squarish room. We're going to have to search for this one. And oh, cool. Look at that. We actually have 16 chests on this map. That's pretty crazy. So you just, just click location right there. We already have it. So it's not going to pop up anymore. Oh, look at all those creepers. <laughs> they won't even tickle me, though. Let's get back to the chest. Not worth it. I knew it. Oh, we can actually take a chest right here. How many lives do you have? Well, uh, Shadow Soul, yes, this is one of the DLC levels. Um, how many lives do you have? I have zero lives left. This is my final life, but that's also because I'm using this glitch right now. The less lives you have, the more HP you will actually have, so... It will become pretty much impossible to get destroyed, really. I bet I could tickle you. <laughs> that would kill me, really. 4am's tickles are OP. They were just toying around with some uh, lightning strikes. This is not very powerful, but if you're lucky, like I just was right there, you get triple lightning strikes, and it feels pretty cool, right? But these guys, they don't want to die, man, seriously. There we go. Oh, seriously, we just got a wooden chest out of this. That's so sad. All right, we're out of here. Let's complete the level, guys. No, but seriously, I'm gonna do more streams. Uh, maybe tomorrow or in the coming days. Still a pretty big schedule because um, I'm gonna have to make many, many more guides for every single new unique which you can get your hands on the Howling Pigs DLC. So, um, oh, we actually have two chests right there. This is a wooden chest. We don't wanna take that one, but this is a golden chest. So we are gonna take that one. There it is. Some random climbing gear. But they could have... Hidden, like, more chests. I think most of them, they are revealed... By the start already. It would be pretty cool if some things were, like, revealed a little bit more. Just like... 
on uh, the lower temple. Uh, bye bye. <laughs> Easy peasy. And just escape without a problem. Shadow Soul, did you play the Jungle Awakens DLC? Oh yeah, buddy, I made many, many videos for that one actually. And oh, we have a vent right here. We have to open this. These guys, they don't want to leave me alone. <laughs> it's blowing them away, that's funny. Alright, right now we just have to press some buttons. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, three times in a row. That's cool. I have to press this one more time and this one as well. There we go. Now the gate is going to open. That's it. Let's just deal with every single one of the get these guys before we leave the level. That always feels better. Sir Jeffrey Thomas V, how much arm, uh, life does your armor have? Well, to be honest, 13 million right now because of the glitch. <laughs> and for you, do you know any other glitches? Mm, at the moment, not really. I mean, the soggy cave glitch was a pretty cool one, but uh, this one luckily got uh, fixed. But uh, this is clearly the biggest glitch out there, really. And that is also the reason why I'm doing this stream to make Mojang aware pretty much that they have to fix this one as quick as possible because it definitely does break the Apocalypse level 7 plus 20. As for Jeffrey, that's normal, really, because the, the gear is glitch right now. Um, can normal members on the Discord arrange giveaways on their own as well? I think... You have to talk with um, with the moderators. It's going to be a little bit easier that way. And wow, dude. <laughs> 200 million damage done. 16 million damage taken. And Caden, what glitch am I currently using? Well, let's explain it very quickly. But um, I actually wanted to wrap it up for now. Did a lot of streaming already. And uh, I am ready to go to bed. A vulnerability on Emerald Collection. Movement speed. Minus 10% movement speed, 50% artifact damage. Okay, that's some really, really strange armor. We're not going to take that one. So, um, okay. I'm For one last time, guys. One last time, I'm going to show you how to make this bug work. So let's actually go to the Arcaven for a second. So Apocalypse level 7 plus 20. You see right there. So it's on the highest difficulty. By the way... Big thanks to Lord Force for doing this, because really, he actually found out about the bug. So if you like the bug, if you're going to use it... Oh, wait a second. We actually want to die right here. So uh, we're just going to put on some random gear. This is the first death. Now we're going to die two more times. We're just going to walk into the mobs. That's numero dos. And this is going to be number three. And right now we're going to have your gear ready. Now we died. So that is the sound you hear. And then you equip your armor. And this actually brings us to that crazy HP. So the third time when you die, when you respawn, you have this, um, this screen respawning in three, two, one. And in that time window, you actually have to swap the gear with the life boost. So right now we have this one equipped. Each time you expend a life, your maximum health increases and you actually can get your hands on this enchantment as well if you don't have any dlc so you don't need the howling pigs dlc in order to get your hands on the life boost i also found this piece of armor the black wolf armor on the creeper woods and it also has the life boost as well as the multi roll and um really <laughs> yes yes this is apocalypse level 7 plus 20 caden so um you can do anything you want right now these guys are just trying to destroy me, but it takes a while, like... 8,700,600,500... So, um... If you drink a potion, of course it will heal you for a portion of your HP. 
percentage. And you can also see with the Anima Conduit, which I have equipped. This one has 6% of max health per soul. So every time when I destroy a mob, it will heal me back for 6%. But since we have so much HP, the percentage is also way... I mean, it's, it's the same, of course, but it will heal me for... 500,000 each time when I collect a soul, so it will be pretty much impossible to die. So uh, that is, my friends, how you do the HP glitch. So yeah, if you enjoyed the stream, guys, it would be very much appreciated if you can hit that like button for a second. And of course, also, um, if you like to watch some future, future streams, just subscribe because there is so much more coming your way, both Minecraft and Minecraft Dungeons. Right now, it is over midnight for me, so um, I'm also <laughs> struggling with a sore throat right now. I mean, I should definitely search for some water right now because, oh boy. No, but really, I really enjoyed the stream. Thanks every single one of you guys for being here. It was great fun talking to you guys. Um, right now, it is time to wrap it up. Also, my neighbors might complain if I just keep talking out loud, but um, I'll see you guys very soon in the next stream. And of course, tomorrow I'm going to upload many more videos for the new Howling Peaks DLC, some builds, some new um, best enchantments for some new armor and weapons, which you can get your hands on, for example, I still have to showcase the Chill Gale knife and many other pieces of armor. I also found these opaline things. Um, let's see, where are they actually? So I found these bad boys, the opaline armor. They're also pretty cool, but um, I will showcase them pretty soon in a future video. So guys, once again, big thanks for being here. I'll see you very soon. Right now, it is 4 out. Till next time.